All right, um, for today, uh, first of all, it's been a while since I've been recording, so I'm kind of glad to get back in the group. For today, I wanted to show something that I thought would be straightforward, then I stumbled upon because I got hung up on something very, very simple. And I'll explain that. So the, the idea here is um, sometimes you want users to come into a ClickSense dashboard and have the current date filter or some you want some dynamic filter automatically applied in this case i want the current week year so we're in 2023 at this point week 14 uh, so this is starting off starting q2 and i want to somehow always have that filter applied to the dashboard the user is looking at so i'm going to show you guys how easy that is to do how you can easily apply this dynamic filter to the dashboard um, you're looking at so let me clear this out and show you kind of how it works so as you can see right now right when nothing's happening this is going on i've created this filter called dynamic date filter which would always apply the filter for the current date the way i do this is a few things first i create a variable that captures um, based on my date field the most recent date of the reload so in my case here if i go under variables to the right you see, you have a few uh, a variable called current year week, and this is what I care about. So what I'm doing is my date field is called uh, order date auto calendar year week. So yours could be year week or something else. Um, so this is my date that I want to capture, right? And this is what it looks like: order date year week. When I use the max function, I'm bringing the value what's important though and this is something i learned um, again one of those things you learn by just trial and error if you don't put the equal sign here you actually this won't work so if you don't put the equal sign here and just hit apply um, you still have this expression here right and you think you're good and all and you can probably still use the evaluations on this variable but for what i'm trying to show you it won't work um, you need to be sure that the variable is expressed at the value it's supposed to represent so here my current year week is 2023 um uh, 14 so the year 2023 the week is 14. right so now what i did is i dragged so i'll just delete all this so you can see this is here just for a place so we can see what's going on so i go into a filter pane and drag a filter pane in my dimension is going to be the year week so i'm going to and that that's that value here on the right side so that's this here so that's my filter pin value right i'm going to call this year week all right so now now that's done i still have my uh calendar applied so nothing is applying here so if i refresh this i don't believe i've added a default uh selection okay good so nothing shows here right this is all my current year week i would first want to sort this filter pane so we're doing this on the fly and learning as we go so i want to sort this so that my year week starts from descending all right so this is the most recent day and i want whenever a user comes in this filter is automatically applied right for the current year week so now the way I, I do it is I come in here and this is what you have to do. So I'll show you the uh, script you write and then explain what I'm doing. So I have to put an equal sign to the date field that I'm in the filter pane equal to that variable that we created. Again, equal sign, this is important. This equal sign is important. If you don't put this equal sign, if you just do this, it won't work. Right, it would just select everything. So you see, this is one of those little. Uh, this is actually where I got. I kept getting um, hung up on is I kept forgetting that equal sign. So if I come back in here, so again, what I did prior was I selected everything without the equal sign. When I do that here, it doesn't evaluate correctly. That's why you see the result as well. But if I go back. Re repaste the value and put the equal sign before my expression this is what I want you see so it's automatically 
um, applying the filter for just the current uh, year week. I hit enter. Oh, I'm trying it again to ensure I get everything plus the equal sign. Hit enter. So you know it's correct because once I ever I put that evaluation into my filter pane, it shows me the proper filter or the proper value. Hit enter. Now I know I'm looking at just the current year week. And now I can just come into bookmarks. I'm going to create bookmark. I'll call this, you know, dynamic year, dynamic year week filter. Once this is created, very straightforward. So I've created my filter, dynamic year week filter. And now I can create an action on this sheet to always apply that filter. So add action. Of course, we want to apply that bookmark, which is the dynamic year week filter. So apply current year week. Now, that's straightforward. So I've, I've applied an action to my sheet that always applies this year week filter. And now if I come out of this, X out of this, go to a different sheet and come back to this sheet, it's gonna apply that filter for the current year week. All I've done is I've added a text box to basically keep me honest. So I'm able to debug my uh, coding as I go along. I hope this was helpful. Again, something very simple and straightforward, but I've seen um, lots of people get hung up on that. Even I was hung up on that. Again, that equal sign really saved the day here, adding this equal sign before the expression.